Welcome to Primal Survival today, folks. So we got quite a bit of work to do today. Behind me is an overgrown hoop house. There is a ton of brush growing up around it. Let me give you a panoramic view here. Now hoop house is really easy to make. They're very cheap to construct and they last, the plastic lasts about five years. So this one still has uh, about three years left on it. We've had it for about two years, me and my pops. And we just got, you know, just equipment stacked up around it. We got these tires here. These have the sidewalls cut cut out of them, and they're used for planting. Uh, it's like a raised planter, and they're you know they can actually hold water in the bottom. They're very warming to the soil because the black rubber. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool idea. If you uh, find some tires and want to put them to use, you can use use them for planters. I actually grew a bunch of potatoes in one one year, and it was amazing the yield I got from them. So yeah. This hoop house, let's take a tour of how bad it is. Hold on, let me see here. All right, so we're in the hoop house. Look at the moisture buildup. It is like a rainforest in here, folks. We got uh, these five, uh, 55 gallon drums that we like to fill up and they're kind of like um, self-contained units for planting. We got some kayaks in here. We uh, kind of stored them in here for the winter, but it's not winter no more. We got to get out on the lake. We got to put these things to good use, and we got to put this hoop house to good use. So I really got to be careful for snakes, <laughs> for wasps, all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, so here's the temperature. It is a sauna in here. It is over 120 degrees. The humidity is crazy. So the first thing I'm going to do is raise the side walls and... Um, get rid of those tires because they're pressed up against it but this is actually a really nice greenhouse man this place works awesome all right be back at you in a minute okay so let me show you something i just found while moving the tires here's an animal hole most likely a groundhog we actually had one that we uh that was eating our sweet potatoes they killed like half my dad's sweet potato crop here, let me pull this away. Oh, oh he, he filled it full of dirt. Ah. There, it, it, <clears throat> there it is. I almost want to like stick some food down there and see if I can get him to come out. <clears throat> come out. <clears throat> ah, There's a lot of like uh, dust and pollen out here. It's a beautiful day, springtime, for show. So let me show you my tools of the trade. I got a nice Gerber axe it's just a kind of a mid-sized hand axe and i got a charade smotchy machete this thing looks like some kind of arabian thing but it has a nice slice to it Whew, so i actually need to go inside got to come in here see the dogs oh ace you haven't been getting much camera time buddy there you are so i need a file Put an edge on the axe. Oh man, I think I pulled the muscle moving them tires. Sheesh. And but it is just green, green out here. So yeah, look at that. All that needs to be cut down. Looks like a forest. So if you want to put an edge on an axe, this is how you do it. Oof. Like this. Right, and you go like that. You see what I mean? So you just do a few on each side, and it's nice and sharp. All right, I'm gonna try to film this while I cut. So. Look at that thing. There we go, there's one down. This stuff all needs to be dragged off to the pile and burned. Ow, thorns. Here's another one. Not, you know, another thing to do, you bend them over like this, and you just split them down the middle. Right. Here's another one. There you go. 
All right, so I'm gonna get this done and show you the after. All right, there's one side done. You can see the kayaks in there. They're gonna be fun this summer. Once the lockdown's over and everyone gets to go out and play at the lake. All right, let's go see what this other side looks like. Ooh, fun stuff. All right, let's get after it. All right, that side's clean. Me and my dad actually started to work on the interior. So we have all these 55 gallon drums filled up with water. That's for um, resident heat in the winter time. So if you put jugs of water in your greenhouse, of course, big ones like this, they'll like actually keep it warm. I mean, it's not gonna be like super warm, but it's better than uh, just, you know, below 32. That's an irrigation system. Got crazy amounts of just stuff growing up. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Give you an update in a second. All right, the finished product. Look at that. This thing is ready for phase two of greenhouse restoration. So let's go inside. Yep, this thing is ready for phase two. So what we got in here, temperature went down substantially from from a thousand degrees. So this is what we got. We got barrels full of water lining the whole thing and making a barrier around it to keep um, the groundhogs out. Then down the middle, we're gonna have double rows of open barrels that are gonna be half full of dirt and well fertilized. And um, yeah, we got some space here. Pretty dirty ground, but you know what? We're not trying to win a greenhouse beauty contest. It smells good in here too. It smells fresh. I'm excited. We got a bunch of stuff we can start seeds in. We got our fertilizers, all this. Yeah, so compared to what it was this morning to now, let me see what time it is, to now on the old Fitbit, what's that say? Nah, 5.43, I started at 12, so roughly six hours. No breaks, neither, no breaks. I can keep going, to be honest, but it's getting dark, might as well take a shower. Ace, what are you doing? What are you doing, you checking out the area, boy? Check out the area. Ace is really the foreman of the job. He's really making sure everything's done right. Come here, Ace. Ace, come on. Ace. Ace. Go on, Ace. Go on. Ace, come here. Go on. Go on, Ace. Go. Go inside. Haha, now I got you. Now I got you, rat. Got you trapped like a rat in a trap. What is it, Ace? You smell groundhogs? Are you going to get the groundhogs, Ace? Good boy. So thank you for watching Primal Survival. This was phase one of greenhouse restoration and cleanup. Look what I found while I was cleaning up too. It's a little three-toed box turtle. He's cool, I think I'll name him Oscar De La Hoya because he's a real fighter.